Adventure time. Come on, grab your friends. We go to very long distance lands. Jake the dog and Finn the human. We're going to have a great adventure time. Hey everybody, it's Clonoclux999 and welcome to the first episode of Minecraft Texture Adventures. Now, now if this sounds a little bit familiar, it's because we actually are, I actually already uploaded two videos about the mi first Minecraft Texture Adventures. But, uh, the reason I'm not doing it with Josh anymore is the, is the fact that his computer was giving us crap and all the other stuff was just giving us crap. And... So I decided, so, and then we kind of agreed that maybe it would just be better if I did it on, on my own. I really would like to do that city series with him, however, um, that I was mentioning before. But anyways, this is the first, uh, texture pack that we are going to be using here. Um, the Adventure Time Craft texture pack for 1.7. We are currently at 1.7, and let me just real, and let me just real quick go over the mods that we are going to be using. So the core mods that we're going to be using for 1.7.10 are Adventure Backpacks, Craft Guide, Craftable Saddles, Damage Indicators, um, Lucky Blocks, which are different types of Lucky Blocks. Um, uh, get rid of this. I actually just said I'm not going to use it. Randomite, Rediscovered, so the beta content of Minecraft is in the game. Uh... Rotten Flesh to Leather, Uncrafting Table, and Zero's Minimap. And speaking of Lucky Block, I actually forgot to install that mod, so I'll be right back. Alright, now those are the core mods that we're going to be using for uh, 1.7. Uh, uh, um, now for the for the Adventure Time mod specifically, um, now... I now I I saw a fair bit of Adventure Time when I was when I was younger, but I'm not really a huge big of the big fan a big fan of the series. But I do like it; it's a nice series. I tried to pick uh, mods that would go well together with the uh, with um, with Adventure Time. So I picked the Battle Towers mod, the Eternal Frost Two mod, and for the Lucky Block mod, I decided to do the Yellow Lucky Blocks and. And I decided to do the more swords mod because I know Finn and Fiona are really into uh, into um, swords and all. And lastly, Twilight Forest, since pretty much every Adventure Time uh, Minecraft series has Twilight Forest in, in it. Um, I picked uh, Eternal Frost too because I because um, oh wow, what's going on? Okay, there we go. I picked Eternal Frost too because I want because I want to. Um, because I wanted to, uh, God, what am I trying to say here? I picked Eternal Frost 2 because I want to have something that would, like, represent the, uh, the Ice Kingdom. Now, there are some other mods that I wanted that I couldn't actually get working. One of them was Candy Craft, which nor I normally would use in 1.8.9, but, but, you know, it is in 1.7.10 too, but for some reason, whenever I tried to load it, it crashed every time. So I couldn't, so yeah, I can't really use that. Um, now the other... Now, I was going to use that to represent the Candy Kingdom. The, now, I also wanted to use the mod to represent the, uh, the, um, the Fire Kingdom. And the closest one I could do to that was, uh, the Sun Sun mod. And that, and that, uh, mod is unfortunately only in 1.6.4, so we can't use it. Uh, I also wanted to include, uh... Now for, the, now for going with Josh, um, I had enough, if I, if we didn't have... Josh, I had another idea where I could maybe, like, swap between Finn and Jake at sometimes. Maybe, like, Jake can't wear armor, but he does have, or weapons, but he does have, like, a, a resistance and strength buff to him. And, uh, and also the fact that he can grow big and stuff. Finn can't, Finn is pretty much just, like, a normal Minecraft player. Um, now, and for the Jake part, I would have used the Gulliver's mod, but unfortunately, that mod is also only in 1.6.4. It was remade, but it was only remade in 1.12.2, so that gets the shaft. So there were three mods that I, that I didn't, that I couldn't use. Uh, there also, I also, uh, while uh, searching up some Adventure Time stuff for uh, Minecraft, I actually came across something called the Ooocraft mod, which is only in 1.7.10. I haven't, I haven't tried it yet, and I kind of want to, like, maybe wait a little bit longer before I try it out, and, uh... And let's just do this series first. Alright, so, survival. Let's go ahead and open the bonus chest then. We got three stone axes. Actually, you know what? I think we're gonna spice it up a little bit. It's an adventure time, right? So what do you say we do this in adventure mode? 
Now, for those who are not familiar, before 1.8, Adventure Mode uh, worked actually a little bit differently. Um, instead of a instead of a, having the t the NPT tag where you where it can break this or can't break this, uh, uh, when one point at one point seven and below, it actually worked a little bit differently. You basically can't mine blocks unless you have the right tool for the job. So, if as long as I have like a shovel or something, I can dig I can dig the the sand just fine. Um, so, so yeah. Now, obviously, the bonus chest would make this foolproof, but I, but I don't want to do that. I want to spice it up a little bit, and I think maybe once we actually have the materials we need, uh, we will. Uh, then maybe we'll come back to the bonus chest and uh, get it. Uh, now, if you will believe it, this is actually where the spawn point was right here. I spawned right here. Yeah. Uh, another cool thing about this is that. Oh, I think the bubbles are actually um O2. Like, look at this. Yeah, the bubbles are O2. Like oxygen. I thought that was kind of funny. All right. Anyways. Uh oh. Also. Yeah. I forget to do that sometime. Okay, off to adventure! Woohoo! Uh, we should dash, actually. Um, speaking of adventure mode, if you have not, um, if you have not, uh, heard of Swimming Bird 941, I highly recommend, uh, go check him out. He was actually one of my inspirations to, uh, start doing creative Minecraft series like that. Some things we can break, so I guess if you would, maybe it would be an idea to, uh, probably get, gather some, uh, wheat seeds on the way here. I'm not even moving my hand, and it's, and it's, and it's, uh, breaking the grass somehow. Jeez, look at that. Um, oh, and here's some animals, of course. Uh, your best bet would be to find a village, but if you can't find a village, there is a strategy for that. And I actually would like to show that strategy rather than finding a village. So let's go ahead and get some uh, stuff right here. Uh, what was I saying? I was saying something. Yeah, I was saying something about Swimming Bird 941. If you have not uh, heard of Swimming Bird 941, I highly recommend you check out got his channel. He hasn't uploaded in like six months for some reason, but yeah, I do recommend you check him out. Um, he uh, and I would especially recommend you check out his uh, series of um, the Hardcore Adventure Challenge, where basically he he plays in 1.7.4 and he uh, and he. D he plays 1.7.4, and he basically plays in adventure mode and in hardcore mode, and he basically and he defeated both the Ender Dragon and the Wither. Um, he did die once though. Uh, yeah, he fought the Wither with like crappy iron armor on. I don't know. I don't want to say I spoil too much of it, but I highly recommend you check it out. Mm. Oh, there's a battle tower already. It looks like it's made out of mossy cobblestone. All right. Uh, these things right here. This is actually the um, the dandelion, and it makes the and the uh, there's the yellow dye there. Um, I really think uh, the uh, the design of this texture pack is actually pretty creative. Um, got ourselves a uh, eight uh. You know, raw beef. There's a lot of cows over here. I wish I had a sword so we can do this a little bit faster. Um, so I guess I'll stay around this area. Uh, I do want nighttime to come. I do have the gamma settings uh, altered a little bit so you guys will be able to see regardless of the light level. If we go in here, maybe we'll get lucky and find a creeper spawner. Oh no, it's just a spider spawner. Oh jeez. Um, something I could do is actually is run to the battle tower and oh jeez, skeletons. I. Uh, Grab some of this up. Oh, we got some wood. We got some wood. We got some wood. Okay. All right. Thank goodness we got out of there. Um. Yeah. Oh, I also have the emerald mod installed. I forgot about that. Yes. Um. I figured it would be useful. I don't know. I feel like uh, the emerald dimension would uh kind of fit fit it a little bit. We probably won't spend too much time there, but that is something here. All right. So we got some wood. Perfect from the battle tower, and I got an arrow on the side of my head. Oh, it's going through my ear. Uh, okay. Um, by the way, um, if you uh, don't have a custom skin, the default skin for this actually does have um, have a, does look like Finn. It looks kind of funny, and I actually did show it in the original um, world of this that I did with Josh. So I recommend you go check that out. 
Okay, so we've got ourselves some wood, even though we can't uh, break this stuff. Um, so let's go ahead and make a, a workbench. I don't know. Let's go ahead and make some uh, sticks, and we have just enough to make an axe. Perfect. And I guess we're going to do the acacia trees. Then again, something we could do is actually just uh, just made like a stone axe or a wooden pickaxe, and then made like a stone axe or something. But I don't know. I find it kind of easier just to do this. Uh, I do want to make a try to show as much as the texture pack as I possibly can. Um, yeah. Okay, sorry about that. Made some uh, extra sticks and um, used the acacia woods. Uh, I'll make uh, extra tools just to show you guys what they look like. Here's the hoe, even though we won't really be using it. And here's the sword. It's basically like a like a bat with uh, like nails in it or something. Looks kind of funny. It actually, it looks like it would hurt a little bit more than a, wood, a normal wooden sword would, but whatever. I probably won't be keeping these uh, tools, I just wanted to show you what they look like. Because I'm pretty sure this texture pack changes everything in 1.1710. Alright, night time's coming. And while we're here, I guess I can show you that uh, creeper strategy, or that strategy um, used to get wood if you do not uh, have something like this. First, what we gotta do is we gotta find a creeper. Um, I probably should eat something first. Um, let's go, I'm gonna go ahead and make a furnace and... Uh, And I'll make some I'll make some charcoal right here, and then I'll put and then I'll put uh, and then I'll use that charcoal to uh, cook the raw beef. Here's charcoal. It looks pretty cool. It looks it's like a little gem. Okay, I just wanted one, and we'll let the rest cook. So first what we gotta do is we gotta find a creeper. Uh, there's a zombie over there. It looks kind of weird. Um, I don't know what uh, what really it's supposed to look like. It's just like a guy in a suit. I don't know. Like I said, I'm not 100% familiar with Adventure Time. So you guys can correct me on some stuff I get wrong. Um, if you would, that would actually be very nice. I'll go ahead and uh, decimate the cow population. Um... Get some wood, and because of the game lag, now it's freaking running away. There, jeez. Alright, now let's fight the zombie. Mm -hmm. And this is what the rotten flesh looks like. We, Like I said, we do have the rotten flesh to leather mod still. Oh, jeez, it scared me. Did that, does this guy spawn, like, right next to me? Actually, wait, I don't really need to do that. There, there's a skeleton over there. I don't want to fight it quite yet. Hopefully, hopefully I can get, I can do something to get, um, like a music disc. Because those are kind of annoying to get. I do need plenty of leather.
This is kind of gruesome, I'll admit. At the very least, we'll have plenty of food. What does it mean saying at the very least? I don't really know what that means too much. Um, so while this is the series is going on, what I do want to do is in this series, I want to fight all five of the 1.7 micro vanilla bosses. Five might sound kind of confusing, but I'm talking about uh, King Slime, Magma Queen, the Giant, the Ender Dragon, and the Wither. Uh, King Slime and Magma Queen are kind of just bosses I made up myself for like the the lucky block one. Okay, here comes some creepers. Um, okay, I'll get more of this in a second. So what you really want to do is you can't don't can't find wood too easily. You can wait till nighttime, lure a creeper to a tree, and then yeah, do it like that. Uh, sometimes it doesn't work though. Uh, sometimes the uh, wood just gets blown up, but there is something you can do. So let's try that again with this one. Oh wait. Ow, uh, what is it with the freaking lag? Okay, oh, we got a lot of wood from that, and I think we're about to get shot by skeleton, so let's move around. I don't know why I made that sound. Okay, <laughs> all right. Oh, look at that. There's something from Chocolate Quest over there. Uh, oh, I think it's one of those things with the, I think it's one of those things where, um, like there are like creeper guys or something like that. I don't know what it is. Um, anyways. Let's, uh, let's hurry up and get back to that one area. Uh, now, what I want to do in this is I want to get to uh, Twilight Forest as quick as possible. Uh, there's some iron down there. We should probably get that soon. Um, I want to make our home in Twilight Forest. I want to live in like a big tree like uh, like Finn and Jake do from, from Adventure Time. Oh my god. Oh, that's a skeleton horse. Right, that's from Rediscovered. Uh, how much durability is left on this? Okay, I figure um, once the durability on something goes down, we should probably use them as like furnace fuel or something. So I'll probably just use these uh, these uh, tools as furnace fuel. Oh my gosh, that skeleton horse is going to follow me. Okay. So I think I'll use the uh, wood tools to uh, make uh, charcoal. And I guess I'll make a a second uh for shoot. Oh wait, no, we're good, we're good. Never mind. Um. Eh, might as well use the uh use the uh shovel at least once, I guess. And the hoe. Keep thinking there's a zombie behind me, because I saw one targeting me a second ago. Uh, is it just me, by the way, or does the, uh, do the zombies, are the zombies' range, uh, uh, for getting to you lower than it, in the, sit in the console version than it is in the PC version, I don't know. Like I said, I've been playing, like I said in an earlier video, I've been playing the PlayStation 3 version of Minecraft a lot lately. Anyways, here's the stone sword. Uh, I never got to cross the wooden one for you guys, though. Um... Oh, wait, no, we already made that. Uh, let's go ahead and get that hoe, though. That hoe, though. <laughs> and there we go. I think, um, I think later on maybe we can get the, uh, stuff from the bonus chest since we, you know, we already got, since we already got plenty of stuff. Oh, and let's make a, a leather set while we're at it. I probably should make a backpack, but I don't think we really need to as of yet. Oh, this is actually really cool because, um, it actually, um, vaguely resembles, uh, Finn. Oh, this is awesome, actually. Maybe I should, like, actually try to get, like, the actual colors of, um, of, like, Finn's, of, like, Finn's, uh, suit. Like, this actually looks really cool. Okay. Anyways, I think, uh, I think maybe we actually we're gonna stop the video here. The sun looks like it's coming up, so, uh...
All right, first of all, let's let's eat something first. Um. So yeah, uh, I think next time on Minecraft on Minecraft Texture Adventures Adventure Time, we are going we're gonna we're gonna go into that cave. Maybe f hopefully find some lapis and uh, and um, hopefully we'll get like a bone or some something to make some bone meal. Maybe we can like dye the stuff the correct colors. Okay, see you guys then. Goodbye. And also we're gonna explore that pirate ship we saw.